why you need to have automation and systems in your business. Guys, automation is one of the most important key things I would say in a business. Now, why? Well, to illustrate, I'm gonna show you guys what happens when I make a cup of coffee, right? So right now we're gonna to cut to the coffee machine, the Nespresso machine, and what happens when we make a cup of coffee. So you can see here, what I'm doing when I'm making a cup of coffee is I open the machine, I put the pod in, I close the pod, I press a button, and what happens next, coffee comes out. But imagine, look at that from a manual process, right? What's happening is, first of all, there's beans being compressed and put into a pod. Like they're being ground, they're put into a pod, then they are sealed, then they're put in a packet, they're sent to me, I open it, I put it in, and I have to, some way, shape, or form, push hot water through it to enable there to be coffee coming out on the other end. Right, that is a automated process right now that if I had to do all those steps would be so time, 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 time taking, right? And I just don't have the time in the day, nor do I have the skill set to properly know how to make good coffee that way, right? So why do you want to automate processes within a business? Well, really there's two things that can be done. You can automate by using people or by using systems or machines, right? Because automation, doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be done by a machine, it just means that you shouldn't be doing it, right? Because as a business owner, what you should be focusing on is on the key areas of growth, you should be focusing on what you do best, which is why you need to build systems and processes and automation around these things. Now, the only way that you can first figure out how to automate something is by knowing and understanding the full system and process. So what I like to do is I like to use these walls behind me and I like to draw things out, as you can see here, I get pretty messy, right? But you have to draw out the full process first, what happens, then you can figure out what can be systemized and what can be automated. And it can be either automated by a person or a machine. So really, you need to brain dump everything. Now, why is this important? Well, first of all, once you can put automation into your business, you'll find that you can save hours and hours every single week because what you're doing, there's probably a lot of different components that go into it that you can automate. So I'll share with you one of our processes and then how we automated that. So when we have clients that start with us, first of all, we get their details, we process a sale, then what happens next is we have to send them a welcome email, there has to be a contract, there has to be an invoice that comes from our accounting system. Then we have to invite them into whether it might be a group or have a, um, a chat with our team um, if they're a done for you client. Then from there we start and kick off our internal processes, right? But that's just the first, that's the onboarding part. So if you write down what happens when a client first or a customer first starts with you, what happens next? That is one process. So if you hear all that, you're like, oh, I don't even know if I want to get a client, right? Because when you think about all that sort of stuff that goes into it, there's so much that happens. But what we did first is we drew all of that up. We put all of that up onto a board and said, okay, cool, what can we do? Now, guys, one of my favorite tools ever, um, and the one that you should really, really get used to using is a tool called Zapier. Z-A-P-I-E-R or Zapier, depending on who you ask. You go there, you better see what systems can talk to each other. Right, so then we looked at, okay, cool, what are the systems that we use in that process? That's next, so first off you get, identify the process, and then what are the systems, what happens in there? So we know all those steps. So when we process a payment, now what we have with our new sales team is they use Stripe and ClickFunnels. So they go to a ClickFunnels and Stripe page, enter the details, then from there, go to the next part. So then we, we use a platform called Adobe Sign um, to sign our contracts with our clients. So that's the next one. But then we need to look at how do we, autom if we're looking at the next, if we're thinking ahead for the automation part, we need to use a platform which we use called Web Merge. Web Merge is what we use first. So we have Web Merge and Adobe Sign, another two um, systems, if you will. Then we also have Zero, right? We have Zero, which is our accounting software, and we also have Infusionsoft, which sends out our onboarding emails. So now from that process, we know that we have five systems five pieces of software that we're using in building that out. So we've identified what the process is, the systems that are attached. Now, how do we automate all of that? 
because otherwise we've got to manually go into each one of these things to fire it off like I did with making the coffee, pressing the button, we want all of that to be automated from one button press. From one press of a button I can get a cup of coffee, from one click or from one action you should be able to automate your process within your business. So let's have a think, let's think about that now. Right, so we've got all these things happening. What's the first action? The processing of the payment using Stripe. So what we said in Zero is we created two different zaps, right? Sorry, not in Zero, in, in Zapier. Two different zaps. So one fires off the first part. So one, what happens is we have, and we have like a lot of um, backend and automation inside of Infusionsoft to make these things work too. But what happens is a payment is processed inside of Stripe, right? We have a payment processed inside of Stripe. That goes through and then click funnels. Then what we have in Zapier is we pick up that new sale. Then what we do is we send a message to first of all web merge saying that we've got a new sale, new client with their information. That then automatically populates their contract inside of Adobe Sign. Right? Web merge then pushes to Adobe Sign, the contract goes there, but we also have to make sure that they sign that. So then inside of Infusionsoft what we have happen is it waits until it gets signed. It sits there waiting, waiting, waiting. We've got a check there, so it's like checks, they haven't signed it, they haven't signed it, comes back. As soon as they sign it, then they get their welcome email, welcome email inside of Infusionsoft. Right, so that's the first zap that we have. We also then have that action inside of Infusionsoft. Then we have to have the contract, uh, we've got the contract automation and the onboarding, we need to have that invoice. So we have another zap that says as soon as that payment's processing ClickFunnels and Stripe, it automatically sends a message off to Zero to create their invoice, sends it to the customer, puts all their details in there, creates them as a customer inside of Zero, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, it's all done. So from that one step, we take care of all of those steps and processes, and it's all taken care of. So that is what you want to think of. That is really what you need to do. So first off, guys, to recap, what do we have to have happen? Number one, right? You have to map out the whole process, brain dump everything. Number two, look at how many steps there are. Number three, identify the systems that can help you with that, right? Identify those. Then number four is figure out how you can automate, look at Zapier and see if all those systems speak to each other. If they do, happy days and you're off to the races. If they don't, well, then you need to figure out something else and another way to do it. But that is the keys, the most important things that you guys should be thinking of in your business when it comes to that automation process. So guys, that is it from me today on automation uh, and how you can use it and some examples for you guys. Make sure, as always, you like these videos if you're enjoying them. Make sure that you comment down below and let us know what you think. And of course, subscribe so you can get all your notifications first before anyone else get this good content. Until next time, I am Kim Barrett. You've been awesome. Adios.